Well, let's start our environment and ecology class. As per the National Wildlife Action Plan 2002-2016, land within 10 km of the boundaries of national parks and wildlife sanctuaries is to be notified as eco-fragile zones or eco-sensitive zones, ESZ. Sometimes this 10 km boundary can be increased or decreased. Economic eco-sensitive zones are created as shock absorbers as well as transition zone for the protected areas to minimize the negative impact on the fragile ecosystems by certain human activities taking place nearby. Committees for Eco-Sensitive Zones Gadgil Committee and Kasturi Rangan Committee Gadgil Committee Report and Kasturi Rangan Committee Report are both related to the protection of Western Ghats. Gadgil Committee was formed by the Ministry of Environment in 2010 to study the impact of population, pressure, climate change and development activities on the Western Ghats. Now, the Kasturi Rangan Committee proposed 37% of the total area of Western Ghats, which is left roughly 60,000 square kilometers, to be declared as eco sensitive areas. The report recommended a blanket ban on mining, querying, setting up of red category industries, and thermal power projects. Here we can see mining and querying. So both are two different processes. In mining we can, is the process of extracting buried material below the earth surface while the querying refers to extracting materials directly from the surface. Let's see it once again. As per National Wildlife Action Plan 2002-2016 Land within 10 km of the boundaries of national parks and wildlife sanctuaries is to be notified as eco fragile zones or eco sensitive zones. Sometimes this 10 km boundary can be increased or decreased. Eco sensitive zones are created as shock absorbers as well as transition zones for the protected areas to minimize the negative impact on the fragile ecosystems by certain human activities taking place nearby. Committees for Eco-Sensitive Zones Gadil Committee and Kasturi Rangan Committee Gadil Committee Report and Kasturi Rangan Committee Report are both related to the protection of Western Ghats. Gadil Committee was formed by the Ministry of Environment in 2010 to study the impact of population pressure, climate change and development activities on the Western Ghats. And the Kasturi Rangan Committee, which was formed in 2012, it proposed 37% of the total area of Western Ghats, which is roughly 60,000 square kilometers, to be declared as eco sensitive areas. The report recommended a blanket ban on mining, querying, setting up of freight category industries, and thermal power projects.